the Magic Carpet Man. Buckles in your carpet can be quite a nuisance. They're not only unsightly, but they can also be a dangerous tripping hazard, especially for the elderly. Fortunately, we can restretch the carpet so it won't come loose again. Before we begin, we must move all of the furniture off the carpet. The carpet has to be able to move freely across the floor. Therefore, all furniture must be off the carpet, otherwise it will pin the carpet to the floor, and we won't be able to remove all of the slack in the carpet. We start by loosening the carpet from the tack strip along one of the edges parallel to the buckles. Next, we assemble the power stretcher to the exact length needed for the room we are stretching. We need to be able to reach the walls at each end of the room, and since every room is a different size, the power stretcher can be adjusted to be used in any size room. Now begins the stretching. We place the head of the power stretcher a few inches from the wall and push down on the handle. This causes the teeth in the head of the power stretcher to dig into the carpet while pulling the carpet forward and taking out the slack as you can see here. Let's see that again. Using the stair tool, we make sure the carpet is seated tightly on the tack strip. We then move the power stretcher down about a foot and repeat the process along the whole length of the room. A lot of people will mistakenly tell you that carpet buckles are caused by carpet cleaners because they tend to appear after your carpet has been cleaned, but that is just a symptom of the problem. The problem is that either the tension in the carpet has been broken and not restored, usually because the carpet has been pulled up for one reason or another, the most common being that someone wanted to run speaker wire from one end of the room to the other, or the carpet was not properly installed in the first place, which is the most common reason for carpet buckles to occur. With the big box stores driving down the price of flooring and offering free carpet installation, there's just no money to be made for the average installer installing carpet, and so they have to make their money in volume by doing multiple installations per day. This means they don't have the time to use a tool like this power stretcher to properly install the carpet. They kick it into place with a knee kicker like this and move on to the next job, leaving the loose carpet to become someone else's problem down the road. The carpet is stretched tight now, and we can cut out the excess. The carpet that we're cutting out is basically the buckle that used to be in the middle of the room. We've pulled it to the edge, and now we cut it out. As long as tension remains in the carpet, it won't buckle again. If someone were to pull up one side of the carpet, the tension would be lost, and the buckles would surely return. The last step is to tuck the edge of the carpet down and clean up the mess. It's always a good idea to clean the carpet after stretching it, as the buckles seem to get dirtier than the rest of the carpet, and they tend to stand out even after they've been stretched. Cleaning helps to blend everything together. Our carpet stretching process is guaranteed to stay put, and we're confident that it will because we've never had a carpet that we've re-stretched come loose again. Not a single one since 2007. For more information, please visit our website at forhealthyclean.com. Magic.